that it picks it up. It does not. Good evening, everybody, and welcome back. It is um, February 2nd, and the new start of a new month and a new... We're, we're going to go over the extra credits this month, the month-long events, um, not weekly homework. So, um, and I never do this, but hey, we're going to do it tonight. I am Sammy at Sammy J Stitches. <laughs> we have Lisa from Shady Tree Stitchers, and we have Harriet from Stitch by Stitch Recovery. You know, we try and change it up every week, and I'm like, why am I not introducing the people who aren't <laughs> with us every week? Like, so, all right. Um, first, I want to do the brief stuff, the just like, oh, doesn't have a bunch of stuff to go through. So we're gonna work on um, some semi sane what they are what they are focusing on this month, and it's a lot, y'all. Like I could not believe that they had two major events going on at the same time. I mean, there's like four or five events, but two major ones. So we have, um, sorry, snowball, and is it pooper potion? Yes. Like, those are unique, bigger events that you have to like keep tabs on and they're running them at the same time. So um, Harriet, do you have both of those or just one of them? I have both. Okay. Which would you like to cover first? Um, why don't we explain to people what Pooper Potion is? Because that is <laughs> a name, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so. Cupid's bow has become tainted. It no longer causes love matches. Instead, when it strikes, it makes you crave chocolate. But when you eat the chocolate, it ends up tasting like poop. The only way to cure it is to stitch 500 stitches for a drop of a special potion obtained from the unicorns. It sets everything right again. Each day at 8 a.m. CST, a wheel will be spun by Cupid. If your amount of stitches exceeds the spun number that day, you're safe. If your amount of stitches is below the number spun, you must stitch 500 stitches in 24 hours, needs to be done by the 8 a.m. spin, to prevent yourself from turning into poop and disappearing from the game and down the toilet drain. <laughs> wow, 500 in a day. Some people find that very challenging. Yeah, when I'm at work, I, I won't be able to manage that. Yeah, that's going to be a more difficult one. And I've already missed day one because yesterday was just a total write-off. And um, so, well, I guess I have a few more hours, right? Because I had till the 8 a.m. spin. Yeah. Okay. You just have to post your 8 a.m. Y'all y'all just finish up. I got I to gotta do some stitching. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the good thing is you can stitch on anything you want for it. So that's good. Just starting and ending photo like usual. Right. Yeah. And what about Snowball? So Snowball is going to be super fun. And I've lost my page. So <laughs> remember being a kid and having a spontaneous Snowball fight with your friends? We're going to do that with our semi-sane friends. There are no teams, admins can and will play. And here are the rules. One, 300 stitches earns a snowball. Earn as many as you like. Post a beginning picture, stitch, post the three, post the stitch photo after 300 stitches. Um, keep your snowball earnings in one thread. And then to heal, if you get hit with a snowball, it's 100 stitches to heal. Per snowball? If not. Can I just say, snowball. I, I, I stitched um, 300 stitches last night, like when it started, ready to start today with the snowball, but they hadn't launched where you had to ask for the snowball. So I clocked on today and had a look and someone, I've had two throat snows, snowballs thrown at me already <laughs> and I haven't even got my snowball that I earned yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so I need to get off this video and start stitching. I've been hit already too. So I haven't. I'm safe so far, flying well, under just, the radar. Just wait till I get my snowball, Harriet. <laughs> <laughs> so it kind of feels a little bit like dodgeball, but without the competition aspect, more of a friendly fire. Um, I think we're going to see a little bit more of friends hitting each other yeah. than we would yeah. in a competition type game. Cause I and I think that's the good. idea. It's about doing things with your friends, not necessarily taking out the enemy. Right. Yeah. Because uh, I've already been hit by friends. So, yeah. All right. So those are the two big ones, but they have a couple 
that are either non-counting or um, they're just not competitive in that way. Um, and Lisa, why don't you go over around the world? This is something that goes okay. on every month. Every month. So there's a different country every month. And the funny thing is different, different places are doing the country. So I actually end up doing three totally different countries the same month. But anyway, in some of saying, it's Hawaii. You get to go to Hawaii for the month. So one, the first thing that you meant to do is 5,000 stitches on anything you want. It can be multiple projects. And then you can do, if you do three of the, these specific crops, a thousand stitches each. So this is to encourage the big stitches to get their goals. Stitch on something to do with Hawaii. What on earth can you guys think of that's to do with Hawaii? Pretty little Hawaii? Yeah, apart palm from trees? that one. Palm trees, maybe. Big flowers. Um, yeah. Well, what I'll do is I'll read, you, I'll read you all five because you might cross some out with them. Um, the second one is something to do with the beach or sunset. Something with string on it. Something with waves or surfboard. Yeah, that and stitch on a width bigger than 1,803 stitches. Is there a reason for that number? Well, there is, but I haven't got the reason up. Oh, okay. okay. I'll get the reason up while you think about what would you stitch for any of those particular prompts. Isn't the reason because it's the volcano? I think it's the volcano. The I'll volcano check. is that big? I'll check. I don't know that I have any beach pieces. So I would have had a perfect pro a perfect project for this but I finished it and it was Dragon with Lighthouse and it had the mm. waves and yeah. it was to the beach and it had the ocean shells. Well, it really is, it is the volcano, it's 1,300, 803 feet above sea level. Um, and you can choose to do all of them, but in order to get some of the points, they want you to try and do three of them. Well, I've got some ideas. Um, yeah. I like my different location here in my bedroom for a change. I do. I like your bed head. It's a nice yeah. lovely bed. Um, so if I share, oh, where'd it go? Nope, my share page is gone. Where did my share page go? Oh, okay. So while you're finding your share page, the beaches and stunning sunsets. So there's lots of ones with stun with sunsets on them. So that might be the easier bit of that prompt to Work yeah, on. well, this one here I've got um, is where's my chair button? It means I have to start a new piece from my list, but I've got Beach Cottage from Country Cottage Needleworks, and it's got waves and it's got sand. So it's got beach and it's got waves. I can probably, I think they might even be potentially hibiscus flowers, that would be very Hawaiian. Yeah. So I've got could that even, one. You could even say it's string along the bottom. I it could. Little string. Awesome, Harriet. So I could do that. And then the other one I'm going to start because I know um, one of the weekly homeworks is going to require me to do this and it will be a wonderful way to double dip. And this is the only one I've given any thought to. I'm going to start my big red ship of life. But because Ooh. it's also got waves. Ooh. And it's a ship and there's sea creatures. So I'm inclined to think by doing those two projects, I um, can knock over that Hawaii. Now, did you have any success with January's China? Yes, I did. Did you finish it all? Uh, no, I but I did the three, I did the 5,000 stitches and the three prompts that I could. I didn't do a peony. I did the animal because my, that's panda and my animal kingdom. Um, something to do with China, I think I did the same thing. And then I can't remember what the mother one was. It was probably like your biggest whip or one of those. Right, yeah, I think. There was two specific They had a large ones, population. Like, yeah, so I think I did those. So um, that's Hawaii. Any ideas for you guys? I I don't know about all of them, but 
this Bali stamp on world postage stamp has a beach. Yeah. And a palm um, tree. Yeah. yeah. And a palm tree. So, um, at least got something. I'm not actually doing that one, but mm -hmm. you know, idea. If you, if you were. All right. Anything for you, Harriet? Well, I've got the easiest one covered because the for the stitching the thirteen thousand eight hundred and three, almost all of my whips yep. have that many stitches. So, so you can always get that thousand on. Probably well, use this one, Celtic yes. Spring. Why not? She's beautiful. She is so beautiful. Okay. Yeah. So that's around the world. Um, we also have self portrait. What is that all about? So self portrait is using one project only. Uh, you need to make progress on your chosen whip every day of the week, every day of the month, basically. So even if it's just one stitch, you need to post your photo every day. Well, you could do that and double dip very easily um, with the um, embroidery.com is doing a stitch for an hour a day. Um, True. So if you've already worked on the same whip both days, you yes. can do that. Now, um, I, I believe signups for that is closed, right? Probably, yes. Um, I think it, you have to sign up a, a few weeks ago. Yes, potentially. Yeah. Um, and the other thing it would double dip nicely with would be you just do daily 30 for sure. Right. Yeah. Instead of just doing also it for five days, through. do it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It also comes it, through, yes. When I was explaining it, I should have said that you need to share a piece of yourself or a fun fact as you go through and stitch the piece mm -hmm. with I your comment. I go and follow some people on that and just see what they say. I think it'll be mm. fun to learn a little bit Find more about information them. out about them. Yeah, it's a good idea. Okay. Okay, self-portrait so sounds pretty easy. Um, I miss day one, so I hope that doesn't negatively affect me. Okay. Yeah, same. <laughs> we have, so those are all the big ones. A couple uh, um, of the non-county um, is my heart something. Oh, Goes yeah. on. Oh. Is that what it's called? <laughs> my, heart <laughs> Titanic. my heart stitches for you. Do you want to read yeah. me to read you that one? Yes, please. Because I've got that on a beautiful piece of paper in my diary. Um, so each week there's a particular thing to do and it's not counting, but in the first week you've got to do something, a beautiful beaded sparkly lady. Okay. What the I know what, I know what you're thinking, Harriet. I'm covered. I'm yeah. covered there. And I think I'll do Alice because she's yeah. my beautiful sparkly lady. She's I need to get the lady at the flag at some point. Yeah, well, she would saying that, but I haven't done it yet. <laughs> Um, the second week is share a video from YouTube of your favourite love song and share why it's special and work on a bit that calls to you when you hear the song. So that could be anything. Yeah. Um, the third one is we love our whips. Work on a whip you love the most or we'd be devastated if you lost it. Pretty much anything. Yep. That may be and then the, the last week is a colour one. Work on a whip that has red. So that's my heart stitches. So that's a nice, easy, gentle sort of one for someone who wants to dip their toe in the challenge. Yes. Because it's just showing any sort of progress. Um, mm -hmm. On the ABC, uh, we're in C, right? And yeah. D doesn't start for another week or two. Um, they're two weeks each. I think. Yes. Yeah. So another week, I think. And then there's oh, yeah. this or that. Christmas house. Oh, okay. sorry. There's also this or that. What are the two prompts this month? Friend or foe, I think? Yes. So you basically so just pick something that's either a good friendly whip or something that's your enemy and say why. Super simple. Yeah. The thing with semi sane is they don't really expect you to do everything. No. Yeah. They're so crazy and try to. So, okay. So that should finish up semi sane for us, right? Does anybody yep. else think yep. so? 
Oh, there's also the their version of a pop up going on at the moment. Stitching oh. three thousand stitches on two whips containing Baby, various things. Women, peacocks, and something else. <laughs> yeah. I went with babies and women, so I think I'm just doing women for both. I know you can't. Can I not do no. Celtic Spring and then the reader? No, you've got to have a different prompt. So you can't I'll do two to women. Figure something else then. Yeah, sorry. See, that's why we chat about these things. Yeah. That's the way I read it. You can only use each item once. Okay. So that I think you sense. can you can work on more than two whips. So you could do two women whips as long as you have a peacock whip as well. Yeah. Which for all the yeah. people who were still working on last year's linen thread sale, they're, they're lucky. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. So ouch. next, um, let's go with daily 30. Who has daily? daily 30? Daily 30, which again is a closed group, you can't get in it, as well as continuing our scavenger hunt, which is the year long event. We are going to be doing things with love songs. So, married in February, sleepy weather, life you'll tread in tune together. The month for love. So you have to pick out a word or a line from each song and relate it to the whip you want us to do. Which is pretty cool. 500 stitches each. So the first one is Love Will Keep Us Together by Captain Antoniel. You guys know that one? Probably, but not just from the title. Well, just yeah. hold on. I will get it for you. So, love will keep us together. Think of me, babe, whenever. So, as long as you've got a, a boy or a girl, I would imagine. Some sweet talking girl comes along singing her song. Don't mess around. You've just got to be strong. Just stop because I really love you. Stop. I'll be thinking of you. Look in my heart and let love keep us together. So, any Valentine sort of one. And then. The wedding row I need to work on. Yeah, that would work. I'm just looking to see if there's anything else in the lyrics that would be different to the what's already been covered. Yep, that's basically it. Okay. Um, I don't know. I had these all worked out in my head last night, but I was blocked, so I didn't post them. Well, probably a girl. I might just use Alice. Yeah. As the girl. I've got hours. Or the, I know, I've got one. I've got one, Sammy. This will do for you too. Hold on. Let me find it. I've got to find it. Okay. You could work on Sammy and so could I. The, um, Sal from the, um, help me out, I forget the name of it. Modern Folk Embroidery. Thank you, because it's got love hearts. Yes. So you could do that, Valentiny. Yep. Yeah. All right, the second song is... Cupid. You know the song Cupid? It says, Cupid, draw back your bow. It's by Sam Cook. And let your arrow go straight to my lover's heart for me. Please hear me my cry and let your arrow fly. Now, I don't mean to bother you, but I'm in distress. There's danger of me losing all my happiness. For I love a girl who doesn't know I exist and this you can fix. I promise I, I'll... Now, Cupid, if your arrow make a love storm for me, I promise I will love her until eternity. I know between the two of us, her heart we can steal. And does it have to be in the piece? You have to be able to relate your piece to a lyric. So if my piece is called happiness, and there was happiness in you, that song. I would think so. Because um, I have happiness can be found. 
one of my pieces. Are you showing us? Oh, no. <laughs> one second. Okay. I wasn't sure what you were doing. There it is. Oh, there you go. Yeah, well, I reckon you could do that for happiness. Yeah. Um, I'm actually thinking, ooh, have I got a picture I can show you? Well, this one will require going to there. I think this one will be fitting for lots of people if they like the way I'm thinking. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but on my um, fairy tale cell that everyone's doing, the bit I am stitching right here has an archer. It does. Bow yeah. Arrow. So I, that instantly jumped to my mind. There's a bow and arrow. So anyone doing the Once Upon a Fairy Tale bookshelf, you're set. Okay, the next song is going to the chapel and we're going to get married. Going to the Chapel of Love by the Dixie Cups. Um, spring is here. The sky is blue. Birds all sing as if they knew. Bells will ring. The sun will shine. I'll be his and he'll be mine until we love until the end of time. So I'm thinking birds, mm -hmm. spring, a bell, or something with a sun. Let's see. Hmm. Well, see, and like I have forever and ever, but because I'm not to pass the main tier of scavenger hunt, I can't double dip it yet. Can I show you mine? Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm thinking my welcome from Cricket Collection because that looks like spring to me. With all the little birdies and flowers and things. Oh, definitely. Yeah, so, definitely. Uh, I could do that one. I need to write these down. Um, so I don't have a picture of it, but I have Sophia, actually, um, which is an owl, which is a type of bird. No, that's one of my scavenger hunt pieces too. <sighs> Okay, I got one. But it's going to take some frogging before I can pull it out. <laughs> this blesses the life. Because um, we got little birdies up here on their little bird houses. Yeah. And it looks springy. Spring also. And birdie. Yeah. That's also got a love heart in it, Sammy. You could use that for another one as well. Mm -hmm. All right, anything for you? Oh, you know, the spring. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Good job. All right. Next one is I just called to say I love you. So no New Year's Day to celebrate. No chocolate covered candy hearts to give away. No first to spring, no song to sing. In fact, he's just an, another ordinary day. No April rain, no flowers bloom, no wedding Saturday within the month of June. Blah, 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 blah. No summer's high, no warm July, no harvest moon to light one tender August night, no autumn breeze, no falling leaves, not even time for birds to fly to southern skies, no Libra sun, no Halloween, no giving thanks to all the Christmas joy you bring. There's a lot in there. Yeah. 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 Uh, I could be boring, boring and double up with the last one. But I'm thinking maybe you're going Christmas. Christmas? I have to find my Christmas.
that one's got so many good choices in it that you could do. Mm. Yeah, there might be one you leave till you actually know what else you need to stitch in your life. Yeah. Well, well and I'm thinking probably this one. Put this disclaimer that a lot of the times my my plans change after the homework video. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Same. But I'm I actually started with the monthlies this this week because I I needed to pick a few things and I, some of these need to be specific. So I thought, well, if I can work out what I have to do that's specific, then I can work out how I can double dip it across with other homeworks and things. Right. So yeah. Okay. So I the the words that um, stood out to me first was the chocolate covered hearts, and uh -huh. these are not chocolate covered hearts, but they are heart shaped cookies. They could be made of chocolate icing. I'm yep. just like. I would so, I would say they were chocolate chocolate shaped cookies chocolate mm -hmm. love heart cookies. If they're in my house, they have some sort of chocolate in them. <laughs> <laughs> no, they mine. Harriet. So I have a few, but probably bring out a whip I haven't worked on in a while, which is Potion Keeper, because he has flowers in him. Mhm. Mm and some fallen yeah. leaves. Ooh. Yeah. He does. He's holding a jar of flowers. Autumn leaves. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I mean, that's a great song. You can do nearly anything. And what immediately sprung to my mind, I'm not doing it, but any of those January, February, March, April, you know, there were quite a few months I think. You could just work on the little thing. Over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Last one for this one, because Sammy thought these were the quick ones, is crazy little thing called love. This thing called love. I just can't handle it. This thing called love, I must get round to it. I hope you appreciate I'm not singing. I can actually sing, but I didn't think you wanted to listen to that. Um, it cries like a baby in a cradle or night. It swings, it jive. It shakes all over like a jelly fist. There goes my baby. She knows how to rock and roll. She drives me crazy. She gives me hot and cold fever and she leaves me in a cool, cool sweat. I've got to be cool, relax, get hip. And get on my track, take a back seat, hitchhike, take a long ride on my motorbike. Pretty much the lyrics. I like in there too. Yeah. There's too much choice. I'd have to like sit down and actually fully think through. Yeah. Well, I was what thinking I do. double double dipping is what I was thinking. So I was thinking that I think I could double dip this one because it's got the I've got to be cool and relax. When you're at the beach, you're cool and relaxed, don't you? Yeah. Definitely. So I think I could use that one and actually double dip. Amy? Um, I'm really not sure on that one. Again, there was a there was a lot to process. Um, but an easy answer, I cannot find it. Oh, here we go. Um and this one could really fit for most of those songs because we are talking about love. That's where that button is is Wedding Row by Bank Creek. It yeah. says, I love, be sure. Yeah, I mean, you could probably do that for all of them. Really? Yeah, but that's a lot of stitching. And, and I mean, there's five prompts, right? 500 each. That's 2,500 points. Yeah. Stitches. <laughs> Woo! Math. Um, <laughs> and it's a shorter month, y'all. So you really have to kind of be on top of it this month. I just barely yeah. squeezed in the monthly last month. Yeah. So 31 days. And that's why I think the key is trying to multitask as much as possible. Yeah. So if you can do the same bit of stitching for three things, then it's not a waste. But if it's just for one thing, then it seems like a bit of a waste. All right. What's next, Sammy? All right. Um, magical stitches. What do we got going on in there? We're welcoming the evil queen. We are. Have I got that? Yes, I do. Okay. So we have five extra credit prompts this week 
this month, not this week. Uh, first one is stitch on something that stole your heart. Okay, well, that's an easy one. You could stitch on anything you want that you really like. Yeah. Yeah. And as I said, that's the sort of one I'll instantly just relate to one of the harder ones and double it up. Right. Yeah. Um, and how many stitches did you say? So these are all 300 stitches each, apart from the fifth task, which is watching a movie. Right. And showing your progress through the movie. Mm -hmm. What's the second prompt? So, second prompt is stitch on something you couldn't bear to lose and explain. But I don't think it's my favourite cross-stitch pattern. Mm. So that, that one's yeah. pretty generalised too. It could be anything except legendary creatures because I'm not sure I'd be so heartbroken if it disappeared. Could it be more though... I'm stitching on, you know, a piece with a dog because I couldn't bear to lose my dog. Well, that's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You just need to tell us, or we just need to tell them why we couldn't bear to lose it. Right. Lose that specific thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it might be the actual project or it might be an item in the project. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so the third one is the Queen Calls Snow White Bird. Stitch on a project with a bird. Post, cover, yeah, everything they want. Well, it instantly springs to mind some double dipping from previously ones where we had to do something with a bird. We didn't necessarily choose that, but maybe that would be a smart choice, picking one with a bird and double dipping. Yeah. Like the last one Sammy showed us with the spring and stuff. And yeah. my welcome would work for that too. Here well, we if Forever and Ever has birds, then I can double dip it with scavenger hunt. Yes. And I may need to start a new project, but okay. we'll see. No. And the bird really has like to be in the project. You do not have to stitch yeah. on the bird. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. All right. Both one? So, stitch on something you would find in a royal castle. So, like a big impressive castle. Can't just be a house. Right. Has to be a castle. Would, would I find... Would I be allowed to find this, I think, so knowledgeable homework discussion people? Alice. Yes. Going to a ball, coming through an entryway with curtains. Yes. yes. I think the you entryway and curtains is what would make that most acceptable. But also, someone wearing a ball gown is pretty royal, yep. don't you think? Yes, definitely. Yeah, I'm going a similar route, route, and stitching on the reader because she is a very regal-looking lady. She has the cap over her hair like the princesses used to have. And the bench she's sitting on looks like it could be a part of a castle. Very much. Yeah. I have no idea. No idea. We've got Sammy stumped. Yeah. Go as you whip, Sammy. Let us look. Give us the screen. See if we can help you. You've started Once Upon a Fairy Tale, haven't you? There's lots of in castles there. Right, and and I knew that would be my easy answer. Yeah. Um, except that, well, it's only 300 stitches. I could do that. Um, it even has, like, parts of a castle. So I was just trying to think a little differently, but I'm not sure that I have anything that would work. Watch that colourful one on the bottom right. That's another hate, is it? Yes, it is. This is a 
See, like, you'd have a fan. Look at those paintings and books and fancy I did food. Have that. Um, a library. I know Beauty mm. and the Beast in their castle. They had an amazing library. That to um, me looks like a really rich library. So, yeah. yeah. Making you do another hay though. Um, there is that. Maybe, well, no. The mask, you could find yeah. a parade ball in the exactly. in a castle. Parade ball in a castle. So you can tell I'm tired tonight because my brain just did not. I know that Lady of the Flag's wearing a crown. You would find the crown jewels in a castle. Yeah. You also could do that that um, ink circle as you're looking one next to the snow owl. Yep. Because that would be a floor pattern you'd find in the um, mosaics and the floor in the castle. Yeah. yeah. So, lots of different options, different ways of thinking about it. I'm just, okay. Yeah. Quite a few choices there. That's good. Yeah. So for our fifth and final extra stitching extra credit, we've got a choice of 101 Dalmatians, Alice in Wonderland, Brave or Mary Poppins to watch and post our progress of before and after the movie. So, you know, I haven't seen Brave. That's the one I haven't seen, so I'm going to watch I that. I quite like Brave. Mm -hmm. I like this because I can watch it with my daughter. And son. Yeah. So that'll be easy. Whatever I'm stitching on at the time that's not already attributing to it, a medical stitches can go yeah. on that. And I'm a good girl. Don't know if you have to, but I take a photo of my work with the TV screens, the open yeah. presents, and the last scene of the movie. So do I. I just just in case. Yeah. I think that's all the monthlies. You got one more? Nope, that's all the... Um, we have Enchanted Stitches. Uh -huh. um, we did look into supernatural stitchers and mythological stitchers, and from what I, we can tell, Feel free to correct us if we're wrong. There's no monthly to those. Um, we're not trying to leave them out. So for Enchanted Stitching, they are doing Frozen this month, Frozen February. Uh, it's not so frozen here, but you know, <laughs> or there, right? No, so, here, no. Definitely not frozen 100, here. 105 degrees here. Yeah. So of course, watching that is always something that they do for the monthly. Um, Number one, did you know there are 2,000 different snowflakes that can be seen in the entire film of Frozen? Put 2,000 stitches using Blanc, Ecru, DMC3065, etc., into a project, or 2,000 stitches in a project that has snowflakes for 50 points. If you choose the latter, you do not have to stitch on the snowflakes themselves. Wow, that's a lot of wow. stitches on why. Um, yeah. Well, I would, if I was doing it, I would do jumping to my big red ship of life and doing like a bottom border in white or something. Um, would that be? Yes, that would be 2,000 stitches. I don't think I have a project with 2,000 stitches of white unless I did one of my hands. And I'm not doing the white. Cross -country. Okay. cross country white first, set a scaffold in white. That sounds wonderful. Well, I have two ideas here because um, I do participate in this one. My first is dash away um, because that right there is a snowflake. <laughs> and so oh. I could fit 2,000 on this project. I don't have to just do some snowflakes. Um, and, and this is one of my focus projects this year, even though I haven't touched it yet. So that would get really good progress on that one. Um, the, uh, why did I close, y'all? I don't know. Uh, let me zoom back. My other one is I started this Hawk Run Hollow and it, or not Hawk Run. Yeah. It is yeah. Hawk Run. Shores of Hawk Run. Yeah. Shores of Hawk Run Hollow. And it has, well, I'm only doing this block, this block, and this block, but all those blocks have lots of white. So I'm yeah. sure yeah. I can figure out a thousand or two thousand stitches in there. I'm sure that and actually that, that ship kind of reminds me of the movie Frozen. So the one they get in a wreck on. Okay. Number two. Do I sound okay? Yeah. Yep. Okay. My internet said it was unstable. 
Um, Prince Hans of the Southern Isles has 12 older brothers. For each brother, put 100 stitches in your oldest width, 1,200 stitches total. You will earn three points for each brother you complete stitching for and four bonus points for stitching all 12 for a total of 40 points. So my oldest whip now, I believe, might be Autumn Lee. Or yeah, I think it might be for you. It's either Autumn Wreath or Mini Phantom of the Masquerade on those two. My oldest whip would be Hang In There Kitty by Dimensions or my Western Express Haid. So I'd have to I'm, pick between those two. I'm not sure because I think pretty much the rest of the whips I have are all from Mania. So it would depend. I'd have to look back in my video and see which one was from the 1st or 2nd of May. But I think it could be pretty close to being this one. I'd really like to see. My Chinese mandala. I don't know I why I didn't work on my well for China last month, but anyway. Okay, my mini Phantom of the Masquerade beats Autumn Reef by 17 days. <laughs> there you go. So mini Phantom. So, like legit, y'all want me to pull out every hate I have this month is what you were telling me. Like, yeah. <laughs> yep. Thank so, goodness for Patent Keeper. Right here is mini Phantom of the Masquerade. So it's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. I could double dip this one with the Royal Castle because he looks like he's ready for yes. well, straight yes. up tells you Masquerade, but a ball. Mm. So. Yeah. All right. Number three, we finish each other's sandwiches. Put 300 stitches in a project that has sandwiches or food in it for six points. Do y'all have some food? Can herbs be food? Yes. That's all I've got. Yeah. Anybody so then I... Pumpkins are food. <laughs> I'd be able oh, to pull out food. him because he has herbs. Yeah. Well, that's true. If pumpkins are food, but I don't want to do my pumpkins. Look, hold on. Let me share my brain with you while I'm thinking instead of thinking and then sharing. So, I have a herb garden with herbs here. I also could go down to my pumpkin scarecrow festival, mm -hmm. but I'm really wanting to do. One of these Lizzie cakes. I haven't touched them. And look at those beautiful strawberries or that yeah. piece of watermelon. Yeah. And I know that this is going to double dip with a weekly homework. So, um, right. you know, I was double dipping. That would be good. Okay. Um, I haven't made a decision, but I'm going to go through a few of my example pieces. Um, this has a pumpkin that's a food. Also, sunflowers have sunflower seeds. So that's a type of food. Um, what was I thinking? I know that these fairy tales have like an apple or something on it because fairy tales. Yeah, there's the apple. Oh yeah, there's the apple. Yeah, and tea, and tea cups with tea. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, pumpkin again. Let's see, cookies, because obviously, duh. Yeah. And. Again, we go. We can go with the sunflower seeds. I'm sure this has all kinds of stuff in it. I haven't even looked, and this one too. So, well, if you, if you want to go that way, I could do my animal kingdom one because I can eat a cow, I can eat a crocodile, I can eat a. There is that. <laughs> yeah. um, I particularly like cattle. Um, <laughs> uh, there's a pumpkin here. There's even like these little cherries right here. So mm -hmm. I'm even something. Mm -hmm tiny and simple it doesn't have to be something super obvious this is good because yeah. when i first thought of food i thought i have nothing i don't ha i don't have food but mm -hmm. i do yeah so okay and let's see that one number four reindeers are better than people spin don't you think that's true put a thousand stitches into a project that has an animal in it for 20 points 
Animal Are you going to go with Animal Kingdom? <laughs> I would go with Animal Kingdom bookshelf, yes. Yeah. Do dragons I, count as normal animals? I don't know. In that case? You better have to ask a question of that one. Yeah. yeah um, I think you could spin that story. I think you could make it work. Yeah. I mean, they're definitely not human, so. And they're not a plant. That's our only or three. Animals, right? You could do something with a bird. And then you're triple dipping. All right. Um, yeah, so I've got tons. I've got cats, I've got birds, I've got um, ev everything. I've even you can get a substantial oh, amount done on fan mini phantom. Yeah. yeah. You say that, but I do not such hate that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Help Anna and Elsa build Olaf. To create the lovable snowman, stitch 100 stitches for each body part. You will earn two points for each body part completed. So for Olaf's eyes, stitch in black. Olaf's button, stitch in black. Olaf's nose, stitch in orange. Arms and hair in brown and body and head in white. They, oh. They're loving the colors this month. Yeah, yeah. Right, but I would just be going straight to my big red ship of life that I purposely are doing in different colors. There you go. Sort of challenge. And then number six, some people are worth melting for. For four points, tell us who in your life, family member, friend, pet, etc., would be worth melting for and why. So you don't even have to stitch, you just have to tell a story. Ooh. I think that's very sweet. Yes. And that is everything for the Frozen Monthly on Enchanted Stitches. Cool. So, I think all the monthly stuff. I do believe so. Unless y'all can think of something I haven't. Oh well, if we if we forgot anything, sorry. We tried to yeah. cover them all. And full and and some some ones we go over each time. Full coverage fanatic still has um there's the national parks. They have an around the world. Do you know what prompt is this month? Give me a second. I might I might have it written here. Oh, I might have written it in my diary. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I might have written it in already. Um I wasn't doing that one, so I didn't point it out. No. Um and then they have the 20 and 20. 20,000 stitches in 2020. And those are all full coverage. Um, I have no idea what Ultimate Cross Stitch is doing this month. I haven't seen anything yet. Um, Brazil. Brazil, okay. Doing Brazil in full coverage fanatics. So, already, well, I think that's it for this week. Um, well, and technically for the month when it comes to this specific video. And uh, we'll see y'all next time. Bye.